Okay, this file had a start file and it had resources, so they're both opened into download and I definitely do not suggest that you do that with yours. I want you to put it in a directory where you know where it is. All right, here we go. So first we want to display slide one, which is displayed. We want to point to the background and click format background. Format background. And then we're going to select picture or texture fill. And we're going to click the file button. to open the picture dialog box and locate our student files and select building 03 picture. So that's going to be in downloads. That's not it, is it? Building 03 JPEG. There it is. Okay. Click the picture button at the top pane and then click picture color all right so we're going to click here and we're going to click picture color and we're going to do recolor we're going to do the drop down box here and we're going to choose blue accent color two and it is the third color second row second row third color blue accent two we're going to click apply to all so that this background is used for all the slides. And there we go. And now we're going to restore the background picture to its original color on two slides. So we're going to display slide one. And on the format background pane, which is still open, we're going to go under picture color and we're going to click the reset button and then we're going to display slide see oh that was on slide one uh -huh. okay let's go there reset and it wanted us to do it on slide two two so there we go one and two now we're going to prepare a black side so the peaker, speaker can talk for a few minutes with no slide displayed so we're going to display slide six on the format background pane, we're going to click fill, solid fill, fill, solid fill, and we're going to click the color button black background. And I was hoping that would give me a tool tip and it says black background, one, and close the format background pane. We're going to apply transitions to all slides. We're going to click the transition tab. We're going to apply shape transition. And there is the shape transition. Under effect options button, we're going to select diamond, diamond, and then apply to all. Now we're going to add animation on five slides. We're going to display slide one. Click the animations tab. Select the object to be animated, the text box for the agenda on the right. We're going to click the More button in the Animation Gallery. And we're going to click Add Animation button. I see. Advanced animation, if the gallery is not open, we're going to choose the wipe effect. Click entrance option button, animation group. So effect options, 
from bottom, oops, and by paragraph. There we go. We're changing the settings, the timing group as needed on the following. Start is on click and duration is 0.5. So on click, duration is 0.5. It's already there. Click the preview button or the slideshow button to test the animation. Preview. And there we go. Repeat steps B through G for the remaining four animations listed in table 3-7. So the text box for the agenda on the right, the wipe entrance from the bottom, the picture on slide 3. We want a shape entrance, diamond out, diamond out. Let's see, we've got both diamond and out there. And then we want it after previous, after previous, and two. And it is has a duration of two. Okay. Now the next one is slide seven. And it's the text box about space design. Space design text box. And it wants a zoom entrance. Zoom. And it wants object center as one object. Object center as one object. And it already is those things. And then it wants on click. And it's already on click. And 0.5. It's already 0.5. Next, we want slide 7, the text box about wireless access. OK, we want a zoom entrance again. Zoom, and we want object center as one object, object center as one object, on click and point 0.5, on click and point 0.5. Now slide number eight, text box with donor names. Oh, that was interesting because it hadn't changed and I wasn't seeing a text box with donor names. There we go. Wipe entrance. Wipe from bottom all at once, from bottom all at once, after previous, and one. OK, use the slideshow to practice use of navigation tools. Display slide one and click slideshow. Click next button to the control area to advance slides. Click see all slides button in the control area to see thumbnails. And this is just basically taking you through the slideshow and teaching you how to use it. So go ahead and follow all of those in eight so that you learn all those things. Now we're going to prepare speaker notes on two slides. We're going to click slide one. And we're going to click the Notes Page button, View Tab, Presentation Views, View, Notes Page. There we go. And click the Zoom button on the Note Page to increase the percent. So zoom to 150%. There we go. Oh, that's way more than 150. 170. There we go. Close enough. So you can more easily see. OK, add the following text with a blank line between each item. Here we go, slide one. Alrighty, now we need slide five.
Okay, so I actually realized it did not want us to type slide one, welcome the audience. It was telling us that was on slide one. So let's go back to normal. And we want to go to slide five. We want to go to the notes page and click to add the text. normal button to return to normal view. Now we're going to print the notes page, which obviously I'm not going to print. Now we want to rehearse and save timings. So click the rehearse timings button, slideshow tab, set up group, slideshow, set up group, rehearse timings. Now this unfortunately is showing me on my other monitor which you cannot see and actually I need it I see that said click the next slide button to advance each slide animation after approximately three to five seconds Oh yeah, it's already got 35 seconds for me. Okay, I am not going to go through and put all these timings on here. So it wants you to use the pre presenter view to view your presentation. Um, note that the slideshow timings will show up in slide sorter view. And I'm going to save those timings and then when I go to slide sorter view you should see that I have a timing of 48 seconds on this one. So we're going to click the slideshow tab, use timings, use presenter view from beginning and click advanced and it's just wanting to take you through those things and that is the end of it and we know it's going to count me wrong for my timings but that's okay. I'm going to close this and submit it, save, upload my file, and that says 3.13 p.m. Yes, submit the file. All right, I got 93% on that rehearse and save timing, so that's where I lost the points. All right, good luck with this. I know you're going to do well.